Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com, and I'm doing a market review here into the close. It is 4.04 .04 Eastern Time, and the market closed today very bullishly, very strong, exactly the way that I called it this morning. It followed through higher, and it really just ran out of day, or we would have just run sky high all the way up to 2.09 and beyond. We did get to the target, though, of 208, and we did get to the target of 208.75. Remember I said this morning that was the next target after 208. We got within six pennies of that. Again, I'm very accurate here when I'm predicting targets for moves and things when it's the same thing as I predict the entries. So I'm very accurate with numbers with the entry, the stop, and the target. This is exactly what this did today. So the market looks like it's going to continue higher tomorrow, except for the fact that I don't know where we gap tomorrow morning, which will determine how we trade out into the open and on the live day. Very bullish move today. This market just got bought all day long. Low of the day was set into the open and got bought all day, hit through the first target and went to the second target. And really 208.75 was a realistic target and 209, we would have gotten there. If the market would have closed at four o'clock Eastern time, we would have rallied another 30 cents and it would have gotten to 209. And it would have kept going actually. We, we just rallied all the way up in the close today. And I did say in the morning video this morning, there may not be a pullback and any pullback can be bought today in the market and there may not be really one. Actually, you did have one, a weird time to take one, but around 10.45 here in the 15-minute chart and 1 o'clock into lunch. I don't like trading in the afternoon unless something opens and swooshes, but the market was a nice buy today and a power move up, and it power trended up all day. It even buy it aggressively out of the gate or one of those trades there in, in, in the late morning or early afternoon. You didn't get the market long today, and I'm certain a lot of people really believe the market would continue lower. Still, even with Friday and the last week and a half of trading, except for, as I've said all along, the market's higher. 100% conviction that's the truth. I don't know where we got tomorrow, so I don't know how we trade on the live day. And we could be sideways tomorrow a little bit until the announcement or the minutes on Wednesday afternoon, or we could just fall through higher tomorrow before the minutes on Wednesday afternoon. I just, I just don't know exactly where we're going to gap in the morning because of where we rallied here into the close, and it's just very, very strong. And we're in an area here of somewhat of a congestion. However, I think it's we're gonna well, we're gonna get through it. I think it would be cleaner if we got through it in a gap. So it'll be very interesting to see exactly how we open tomorrow in the pre-market. But the market is so gorgeous. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous chart. There's an affirmation here that I saw today. Actually, this is from March 15th here on my calendar. It says the only limits are, as always, those of vision. This is a statement, a quote here from someone called James Broughton. And this that is a great quote that makes me think about the market, okay? The only limits are, as always, those of vision. So therefore, what's the best way to think? Limitless. I'm a limitless thinker. I have expanded vision. The market is higher to an incredible number this year. I said it last year in October of 2014 and the market is going to follow through and make new highs once again here very very soon gorgeous market beautiful and it is not a short the a bullish move is not over and it's going to carry through to again a limitless number and I see it happening because I have an expanded mind that can read numbers and charts in gaps both bullish and bearish and has the vision to see what is setting up here and is happening. And it's because I know how to read at money. I, this is this is money that, that carried the market higher today. Real, real buying power money that moved the market higher. Institutional money that came into the market that held this up here gorgeously, beautifully, fabulously, and is going to go right over the area that happened from the drop off that took days to do. It's going to make it over it lickety split. And that is power, my people. That is just really, really what... I love to see in the market, which is money. Whether it's money that sells off or money that gets that comes in that's buying, but it's power. So it moves the market, it's what moves stocks. So if you'd like more information or want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, feel free to email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, March 21st and 22nd. Beautiful long call I made to the market. Whoever took it this morning, hopefully they held it all day to the target. You were never down. You were up every second from the call, and it went to the number and beyond. So great bullish, bullish market we're going to have this week. I see it. I saw it this morning that we would have a very bullish day and a very bullish week. Look for follow through. Market's doing it. Beautiful market. Let's just give the market a round of applause here. 
and great job Sock Swoosh, which is me, for calling it so expertly today, all along the last few years. Have a great day, everyone. And if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody.